Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance is releasing on June 14th. It's been close to three years since the release of Shin Megami Tensei 5 that came out exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Alice is about to release an enhanced version of SMT5 called Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance, introducing new changes, a new story, new characters, and new demons. You may ask what's the difference this time around or is it worth buying this game a second time? Well you've come to the right video as this is another everything you need to know before you buy where I gather all the news and trailers from an upcoming game showcasing the story, the gameplay and formulating an opinion on whether you should buy this game giving you some guidance and knowledge. So here's everything you need to know before you buy Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance. SMT Vengeance is a turn-based RPG developed by Atlas. As said earlier, it is an enhanced version of SMT5, the fifth mainline title of the Shin Megami Tensei franchise. You may have played SMT's popular spin-off franchise Persona, and while the two are different in terms of theme and story, they also share many similarities like the combat and of course the demons you collect and fuse throughout the game. Back in 2021, I made a video on SMT5 during the early days of this channel, and after playing through it all, the characters fell weak in the story compared to its predecessors in my opinion. However, Avengers introduces a new story route. There'll be two routes to choose from at the start of the game. The canon of creation which features the original story where our protagonist and his classmates get sent to a deserted realm called Dan, in the midst of an eternal conflict between angels and demons. And then there's the canon of vengeance, an alternative story that stems off from the original, centering around a quartet of demons called the Kadishtu and a mysterious transfer student named Yoko Hiromine. Both of these routes are standalone, so you could choose one or the other to start with. There are a lot of new changes in vengeance, 50 of them to be exact. I won't go through all of them, but I'll leave the video about them in the description below. The first big change I want to go through are the demons. In SMT5, there were 230 demons including DLC. And now in Vengeance, they'll be adding over 40 new demons, bringing us to a total of at least 270 demons. Some of them you may recognize in other SMT games, and some will be appearing for the first time in the whole franchise. For those who don't know, Alice has been releasing a daily demon showcase, highlighting certain demons in Vengeance up until the game's release. Of course it's in Japanese, however there is a YouTuber named Buffmeister who's been uploading translated videos, so go check that channel out later if you're curious about the new demons. All the demons in Vengeance now have an innate passive skill. Each skill will vary from one another and some will synergize with others. For example, the demon Feng Huang, Moloch and Surd have innate skills that boost fire attack. If you have all three out in your party, you'll notice a considerable amount of fire damage compared to a party that doesn't synergize well. Also, there are new Magasui skills that require a specific composition of demons, and some of these skills can synergize alongside innate skills, like switching out a demon without using a turn icon and accelerating your Magasui gauge. Another new feature is the Demon Haunts, a location where you can converse with your demons. As you build up your relationship by giving them gifts, your demons can potentially gain new stats and skills. In addition to demons, you can also converse with the protagonist's classmates if available, and Algamy who gains stats for yourself. The Demon Haunts has a free camera mode as well, so you can use it to take screenshots of your favorite demons or characters. Next, let's go through the changes in combat. The combat system itself hasn't changed. For those unfamiliar, SMT uses a turn-based system called the Press Turn System, where you can gain additional turns by exploring an enemy's weakness or landing a critical hit. In the Canon of Vengeance story, it looks like the protagonist classmates can now fight alongside you as a guest character. You can see Ichiro, Yuzuru, Tao, and Yoko fight alongside, and I say this is a great change since it adds more involvement and presence to the characters. Aside from that, there are now consecutive battles where if you enter battle with multiple enemies around you, you'll be finding them in waves, giving you more XP and Maka. There are now more variation in demon conversation, like surprise quizzes and escaping with gifts. And demons are more likely to beg for mercy. There's going to be a miracle that allows you to demand incense from the demon, which is a useful change. We have completely new changes such as the protagonist and their demons being able to level up to 150 after a certain condition is met, a new difficulty called Godbond that can be played in New Game Plus where all the enemies are level 150, and in the canon of Vengeance you can explore a new region of Dad covering Shinjuku and a new dungeon called Shikan. Lastly, there are some quality of life changes, for example, you can now save anywhere instead of saving at a fount, you can now fuse with any one demon in the compendium, consumable items like Grimmores and Gospels can now be consumed in bulk, and level up items now work automatically instead of after battle. As said before, the video about all the new changes will be in the description below. Finally, the question you've all been waiting for, should you buy Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance? But before we get into that, be sure to like, comment down your thoughts on the game, and subscribe. I'm trying to get 500 subscribers this year, so your support will be greatly appreciated. Whether you bought SMT5 back in 2021, or you've patiently waited for this exact moment, I say it's worth the purchase if you can. Vengeance is releasing on both 8th and 9th gen consoles, as well as PC, so we can finally play at a smooth frame rate. 
Also, on June 13th, SMT5 will be delisted on the Nintendo eShop. Makes sense since Vengeance will have everything SMT5 related, including all of the Demon DLCs like the Demi Fiend and Cleopatra. However, Vengeance will have its own DLC, which includes the Matama DLC and two new Demon DLCs, Dagda and Konohana Sakia. So I wonder how the Kadishu, Yoko, and the original characters are going to tie into this story. Even the director of SMT5, Shigeru Komori, was disappointed on how they couldn't implement everything they wanted into SMT5, so hopefully we'll see that in Vengeance. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I was planning to do a video on May, but I was building a new PC, and it didn't go as smoothly as I wanted to. I had troubles booting it up. Fortunately, I figured out it was a motherboard problem, and now the PC is up and running. There are a few more things I need for the new setup, so I'm using my old PC to edit for the time being. It's nice to play the new games without any problems. Anyways, that's it for me, and as always, I'll see you next time and catch you guys later. Take care.